Hi, welcome to Healthy Food, Happy You. I'm your host, Gina Lewis. And on this show, we like to show you the benefits of a well-planned, whole foods, plant-based diet. Some of the mega benefits of a plant-based diet are reversing type 2 diabetes, possible reversing of cancer, reduction in the risk of heart disease, and speaking of that, if you have ever wanted to learn how to make a zero cholesterol cheesecake, today is your lucky day. <laughs> we have on the show a nutrition consultant and raw food chef. Her name is Stephanie Hall. Thank you so Hi. much for being nice here. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm super excited about yes. this cheesecake. <laughs> So tell us what we're going to do first. So today we're going to prepare a raw vegan cheesecake. Um, it's made uh, from a pecan and date crust. Mm -hmm. And then the filling is made from cashews. But the first part that we're going to prepare today is um, with the pecans and the dates. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds so rich. Yes. What are we going to do first? So. Um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about raw vegan foods. Sure. So raw vegan foods, as you know, it's all um, plant-based, uncooked. Love it. Um, love nothing it. is heated above 115 to 118 okay. degrees. Uh, the primary components of a raw vegan kitchen are your food processor, Got one. blender, Got it. juicer, and a dehydrator. Uh, but oh, <laughs> but to, today, the only components that we'll be using are the food processor and the blender. Okay, okay. how easy to make an entire cheesecake. Two, yes, two um, tools. Two, cool, two tools. Um, and two, we'll be using some pecans. Ideally, you want to soak all of your nuts and seeds, and that allows us to release the enzyme inhibitor, are these which soaked? aids in digestion. Yes. So those are soaked raw organic pecans. And then, um, so this is one of the components that we'll use for um, our crust. Okay. And then uh, medjool dates, which have already been pitted. They're super yummy. And oh my gosh. <laughs> these you have to are try so them. good. Medjool dates are like candy. Yes. I don't. I yes. don't know if you've ever had like a bucket at home and just gone through the whole bucket. It's also delicious if you put a pecan in oh, there. Oh, I know. Yes, yes, like yes. dessert. <laughs> and the good thing about these is you don't feel weighed down yes. after you have some. You feel energetic. Yes. And these are, how are they? <laughs> good. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> this is so good. You've got to try these. <laughs> these are also, I love using dates too because they're a whole food, they're plant-based, and they add um, natural sweetness to our okay. food. And they're also um, ideal. <laughs> hey! Try some too. Um, uh, now's as good a time uh, as any. <laughs> they're that good. Mm, that's pretty good. Awesome. <laughs> And I okay. love um, using these because, well, we're using the medjool dates, but they also help to bind the crust together. Right, okay? exactly. Okay, so we'll Let's get, get started. started. Um, we're going to use the food processor first. So um, we're going to add in uh, two cups of our uh, raw soaked pecans. Dump them in. Yep. And then we're just going to grind them up. And then we'll add the dates after that. Okay, so great. we're just going to press on to. This could be bad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Stand back. Yep, that's perfect. So Even now, a Gina can do it. <laughs> super easy, super, super easy. <laughs> um, then we want to add about um, almost half of the dates. Okay. And they've already been pitted, so we just want to add half of those. Um, yeah, so kind definitely of the key is to get them pitted first. Yeah, get them pitted because you want to remove the pits so that you don't have any hard pieces um, in your crust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it could be bad for your teeth as well. Definitely so not good for a cooking contest. <laughs> well, not a cooking contest because you're not actually cooking. Yes. So we want to add these. And then with this time, we're, we just want to pulse it because okay. we want to break up the Show dates. Show me how to do so that. So we're going to just. So we want to pulse it. that daily aggression yes. in the kitchen. Yeah, so we're going to pulse that to keep, we're gonna keep doing it for a while. Come on. <laughs> my iPod. It's a little bit of exercise. That's right. <laughs> All right. So Ooh. now we want to <laughs> now we want to add in some more of our dates. All righty. So we can add these. Thank you. Like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest of them? Um, just... no. Just let's add a little bit more. We'll do so about three rounds. Too gooey yeah, then. yeah, yeah. We'll do about three rounds of this, so it can break down pretty good. Okay, perfect. 
Perfect. I love that none of this is cooking. Yes. So while you're putting this into the pan, mm -hmm. and I noticed that you are using... Yeah, I'm using a springform pan, and this is, um, you would use this for a typical cheesecake, and it's, um, it's ideal because this part pops out, and then we want to put it back in there, and it has an uh, adjustment here, mm -hmm. but yeah, so we put it there, and then we want to move this over this way. I gotta, yeah, move your hand. Very tricky. Yeah, <laughs> not too tricky though, but it's good. No. Um, so and then fun to play with. Yeah, but it's really good because once we put the filling in it and it um, gels, we're able to release it and remove the cake. Okay. So that's the goal. So got now it. we just want to. Um, <laughs> you got. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's all good. Leave there it is. Guess. Perfect. <laughs> so we will now just we can um, we can put our um, our crust in here, and then we can we'll be able to put it in our pan, and we just need a thin layer. Okay. And as I said, this is the one of the components, only two components. Super quick and easy. So now while you're doing this, let's yes. talk about why you wouldn't want to heat your food up yes. to higher than um, 115 to 118 degrees. Yes, the goal with um, eating raw vegan food is to, you know, not heat your food so that we can get um, all of the nutrients from our food. We want to eat um, nutrient-dense foods um, so that we can reap all the amazing benefits of increased energy, um, optimal health, increased vitality, um, mental clarity, um, an easier way to maintain our weight. So all of those breads and cereal packages that yes. say like fortified with iron and yes. riboflavin and yes. those wonderful things. Yeah, we want to just go back to um, nature. We want to eat foods that are not heavily processed. We want to um, use fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. Those fresh ingredients are just great for our cells, um, for our you know energy. Um, all the they're anti aging. They help just with um, improved digestion. So it's so many benefits that yeah, we don't realize wonderful. that we're getting from consuming plant based foods. Okay. Raw plant-based Raw, foods. Raw, uncooked plant-based foods, yes. All the nutrients are intact and readily available. So you're doing this the pretty way. Now with three <laughs> kids at home, I would most likely take dump it, it directly in. from the food processor, yeah. dump it in, use both my hands, yeah. smush it down. I just want to make sure I'm getting it close to the edge okay. really good. And then once I do that, then we'll just go ahead and dump the remaining portion in. And um, it'll be good to go. All right. So yes, yeah, so we're we're pretty much all done here, and then we will get ready to transition to our second. You don't know Thanks. how badly <laughs> I want to take that spoon and be like, oh, sorry. Let's <laughs> start again. Oh, yum yum. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go get our ingredients for, for the, the filling. filling. Mm -hmm. And we will be right back. Do not move unless you are going to get the ingredients and follow along with us. We'll see you in a second. <laughs> Welcome back. We are back with Stephanie Hall, and we have our ingredients for the filling of the cheesecake. And by the way, if you want to get in touch with Stephanie Hall, you can look her up on www.stephanietthall.com. Yes. <laughs> all right. And all she right. can help you with all your nutritional consulting needs. Yes. Um, and so we've already made the crust for the cheesecake. Mm -hmm. As you saw, it was super quick and easy. easy. Only oh, two ingredients. Yes. And so now we're going to prepare the filling for our cheesecake. Okay. Um, it has a few more ingredients. We have uh, three and a half cups of raw cashews. Mm -hmm. We have a half of a cup of lemon juice. We have our coconut oil, which is one of the key ingredients in the cheesecake because coconut oil, if you don't know. Oil. At, yeah, oil, I know. But coconut <laughs> oil at um, warm temperatures, it's a liquid. It becomes a liquid, but um, with colder temperatures, it becomes a solid. Okay. So this is actually what helps to firm our cheesecake. Oh, and so we don't have to bake it. 
so it's really yummy. You can oh, it eat it by itself. So <laughs> yeah, it's yummy. You can eat it by itself. You can um, use it on your skin. You can use it on your hair. Um, it's also good in smoothies, all of that. So okay. super good. And it's also good for cooking at high temperatures for people who are interested in cooking. In cooking. Mm -hmm. okay. um, we're also going to use vanilla bean, oh, which I love, 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 love. Yes, yes. yes, vanilla bean really mm. intensifies the flavor of the cheesecake. So it just really takes our desserts and drinks to another yes. level. Yes, I Someone love it. Someone was saying it. earlier, you can put this in your hot chocolate yes. or like a little yes. snip in your hot chocolate. And if you don't have it and you're making it at home, um, a substitute would be vanilla extract sure. and just use about a tablespoon or so of that. Okay. Then we want to use, um, this is our sweetener, which we're going to use so we can use um, the coconut nectar, okay. and we're going to use nectar. yes, <laughs> we're going to use a half a cup of this, or you can interchange it for um, a raw agave nectar as okay, well. Okay, I've got that. Got that at yes. home. And then we're going to do a half a cup of water. Oh, okay. Yep, a half a cup of water. So we want to put that in there first because we want to put all of our liquid ingredients into the blender first um, because it helps to facilitate uh, the blending action. Got so it. we want to put. Mm -hmm, so we want to add that to our blender. I've been known to make messes, yes. so I'm very timid <laughs> when it comes to this. And then we want to add in our lemon juice, fresh squeezed <laughs> lemon juice. <laughs> and this gives it a really, really good flavor yes. as well. Very tart. Yes, and then we can add in our um, coconut oil. And this is a half a cup. They need to come up with a different name for this. <laughs> coconut. Yeah, and you want to get the coconut. unrefined um, cold press. <laughs> I knew that coconut would come oil. in. Yes. Glad I didn't do my typical watch to see how it's going. Okay. All right. And then I'll I'll do this. We want to we want to do a half a cup of our um, sweetener. And so we'll add that here. Ooh, a half a cup. Yes. And this is low glycemic. You mentioned. Yeah. This is low Correct. glycemic. Um, it's an alternative to um, white sugar. Um, you know, any of your sugars that are not really good and that the body doesn't out. process. You don't even need them at yeah. home, really. You can do without. So with the dates in our crust, mm -hmm. are dates low glycemic as well? Um, dates are a little bit high in sugar, but the thing about dates a that, lot of it, yeah, sure. yeah, but the thing about dates, it's a whole food, so our blood sugar levels, um, you know, it, it doesn't they can like handle yeah, it, it can handle better. it, yeah, it doesn't like spike it like it would with high exactly. fructose corn syrup. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, I don't feel weighed down. I don't have that sugar high, sugar crash. I yes. feel energetic all day. Yes. After my cheesecake. Yes, and so we want to. We can put in the. Um, we can add in the uh, cashews. All of the cashews. Yes, so three and a half cups of cashews. All right, I'm gonna empty those. Yep. <laughs> Come on, little guys. You too. <laughs> and then we have our vanilla bean. And it's funny when I first got started um, in preparing this type of food, I thought vanilla beans were like actual beans. beans. Yeah. Yes, me too. <laughs> but this is a vanilla bean, and you actually just have to thinly sl um, oh. slit it with a knife uh -huh. and then scoop it out. So I'll do that okay. part. <laughs> so it's not too bad. So you're just kind of cutting right down the thinly center. Thinly slit it. Yeah, you don't want to slice it all the way through, Good. but you really just want to thinly slice it, and then we're going to scrape out all of that goodness. Very interesting. Yes. <laughs> never done this before. Never done it on the show before. This awesome. is really cool. So we just use the back of the knife, and we'll we'll scrape out our vanilla bean. Oh, how easy. Yeah, very, very easy. You know, when you're doing it. <laughs> so I say this cheesecake shouldn't take you longer than a half an hour to make. So we're going to scrape all of this here. Sure. And I would say that's even like getting your ingredients together. Together and everything. Yes. yes. So we'll put our bl our top on. We may need to use, this is a tamper that comes mm -hmm. with our blender. Got it. And this is a um, high powered blender. You really need a high powered blender to be able to blend the sure. nuts um, efficiently. And I don't have a high powered blender, mm -hmm. but you should still, you can still, yes, I've, I've ground, still let's do, do it. it. Yes, you can still do it. So we'll blend this, and if we need our tamper, then we'll use that to just make sure it's really sure. smooth. You will miss hers, and you'll crave her cheesecake, <laughs> but yours at home will be pretty good. Definitely. So we're going to turn it on now. All right. <laughs> How about now? How about now? All right. Sean, stop fooling around. Plug it back in. <laughs> yes. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now we'll turn we'll turn on our blender and we'll blend it so we can get a very smooth. 
We need to add just a little bit of water. Okay. Um, just because of the consistency, we add a little bit more water and make it I'll a little bit it smoother. So I don't okay, it. no problem. You are like a boss with that thing. <laughs> 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 Lots of practice. So mm -hmm. we just want to add the water and kind of move it around in there a little bit, okay. and then we'll we'll start the blender again. So you know that you need to add more water. Yeah, when it should just be. Um, it's a when little the blender bit, sounds like it's working really hard. Really hard, or? yeah. When the blender sounds like it's working really hard or too hard, we need to add just a little bit more okay. water. So we'll blend it and then we'll add it to Perfect. our. Easy um, okay, so that's good. I love how you can see the vanilla beans. Yeah, yeah. that's the that's, really that's the awesome part of it. So now we'll just add. We have our crust mm -hmm. here. It's been waiting on us, and now we'll add the filling. Um, so it looks really, really yummy. Sure. And we'll just add it to our springform pan. I want and to die. <laughs> it's really, really awesome. And so this takes, um, you want to, after we, we um, put it in the pan here, we want to put it in the freezer and allow it to set for approximately 45 minutes to one hour. Okay. And um, that will be very hard not to get it out <laughs> of the freezer and just eat it by the spoonful. <laughs> no need to wait for it to firm up. Yes, it's really, really, really yummy. It's like pudding, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cashew cream. And two, the cream is really good. If you want to just eat it like this and just add a little bit of berries to it, oh. um, you can do that as well. Yeah, so okay. you just want to smooth it out. And, um, you know, get all the bubbles and bumps and all that kind of stuff out of My it. My smoothing skills aren't that amazing. <laughs> so you're doing good. All right. So that's pretty much perfect. Let me see. Let me just grab smooth along Let me see edges. your smoothing skills. Oh. It's like a smooth off. Yeah. <laughs> just lightly smooth it on there. So that's good. Just to make sure it's evenly um, distributed. Beautiful. And you can even do like a heart for your kid. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> totally. So we want to now just transition it to okay. the um, freezer, I'll but you can do, you can hold it. Yeah, just be careful, and, and I'll then the door. freeze that, and then you wait. Yes, for forty-five minutes <laughs> to one hour. Got it. All righty. All righty. Now, before the show, you had pre-made one, correct? Yes. Yes. And added some deliciousness to it. Yes. What did you add? Raspberries? Yeah, so and we added some um, fresh local berries. You can add whatever you like. So strawberries, but I added um, raspberries and blueberries okay. to it. Yeah. So we're going to get this out. We are going to quickly show it to you, and then we are going to run to that table because I want to hear more about her, <laughs> but I really want to try that cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. This is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Mom. the door for you. Oh, so, yeah, this is our finished product topped with um, fresh, local, seasonal I love berries. How you yeah. do that. It's so pretty. <laughs> so, definitely, we can cut it and, oh, like and place it. Yeah. So, we'll cut runners. around the berries here. And as you can see, it's firm, like your traditional cheesecake. And this uh, cheesecake is very um, nutrient dense. So, you really don't need. Um, as much, you know, as a large of a piece as you would get. You so know? if I called you and I said, Stephanie, that cheesecake was delicious, but I ate the entire <laughs> thing for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> what would you tell bad. me? It wouldn't be too bad, but you don't need like a huge, huge piece. <laughs> All right. All righty. We'll see you at the table. <laughs> so we've already cut our cheesecake and I'm just going to plate it up and serve it to and share it with Gina. And it's super, super yummy. You want to make sure we get some berries on there. And I'll get a piece for myself. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to take it over here and share it with Gina. Thank you so much. It is so nice of you to come on the show and Thank make you. us this cheesecake <laughs> and serve it to me. That is so special. Um, so now's the good part. Yes. <laughs> How did you get started? 
in nutrition consulting? I always love asking this question. Yes. Um, well, I got started um, formally in 2009. Okay. And um, that's where I attended the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and got certified in nutritional counseling. So since then, I've been working with um, people individually and in a group program to help them transition to a healthier diet. And it's primarily, primarily focused on plant-based nutrition. I know a lot of companies are going to this, trying to increase health awareness in their mm -hmm. company. Insurance costs are out the wazoo, so they're trying to get their people to realize the value of yes. eating healthy so they can be at work. Yes. Is this something that corporations could call you and have you do demonstrations? Definitely, like definitely. Um, I've actually been talking to a couple of small companies who are very interested in adding this to um, their organization. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah, to, I love um, that. yeah, for you know, just um, disease prevention and just equipping clients with sure. this necessary information. It's morale building too, yes. just to get together, share over food. Yes, it's wonderful. Yep. really good idea. And just out of curiosity, because mm -hmm. I always wonder how <laughs> this works, diet and eating is such a struggle for so many people. Mm -hmm. And I know so many people want to eat right, mm -hmm. and they seem to just fall back into those old habits or they yes. can't let go of so many things. Yes. So how do you help those people? people. Yes. I mean, is it, you know, yes. do you it's see? Yes, it's definitely possible. Um, I'm very excited about my one of my latest group coaching programs. It's called the Waste Management Cleanse. And oh. like waste, <laughs> waste like, waste like yeah. I love it. <laughs> and so um, it pretty much focuses on educating women how to cleanse and detoxify the body using, using um, natural plant-based foods. So um, the core of the program um, Anybody can, you can start wherever you are, but the core of the program fo focuses on um, narrow, narrowing down our food to its most simplest form. Um, there's also a juice fasting component and also a component that helps women to um, facilitate um, elimination through our primary um, eliminative channels. Sure. So, mm -hmm. And when they're struggling, staying disciplined? Yes, and, and but throughout the program as well, like I we, we, we do a cleanse, but I also educate them on like nutrition, 101, so what to eat and what to do after the cleanse. Is it better um, to work in a group as well because yes. then they kind of hold each other accountable? Definitely, yes. So we have the group support. Um, I'm someone their cheerleader. Will call you. Yes, they someone will, will hunt call you. Down. You. <laughs> you know, you have all the resources. <laughs> Help yourselves. Oh, wow. We haven't even had any yet. They're making it look so good. <laughs> Okay, no, I, I've got to try this yes, because yes, they made it look like so good. We are not juice fasting, by yes, the way. Yes, not yes, today. Yes. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to confess my undying love for you. <laughs> it's that so good. So yummy, yummy. Oh. What were we talking about? Mmm. <laughs> mm. Do you taste the vanilla bean? I do. Mm -hmm. And the lemon, the lemon just gives it that perfect flavor. Yes. <laughs> and it really is so smooth and creamy. Yes. You don't miss the dairy. Yes, it's a all. perfect alternative. Mm -hmm. um, dairy free. So it's super, super yummy. Oh super my gosh. good. <laughs> Cut <coughs> and we're done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so good. Okay. So another thing I wanted to ask you is if you have this client that has tried everything else mm -hmm. okay they what what about the clients that are skeptical of plant-based yeah you know they have to kind of be a little bit open to trying it you know i always i, I love for people to They've try tried the food. everything else anyway okay <laughs> yeah, so let's, else, be, yeah. let's be real so you know just give be have an open mind trying it you know putting some of the things that i share into action I think that they will definitely see results, and I know they will see results. Yeah, you know, so tell us some of your success, so success yeah, um, stories. Yeah, I recently worked with a client who was an uh, athlete. She's an avid runner, but she wanted to make an that investment. That would be an easy <laughs> client to work with. Let me help you on your health, okay? <laughs> she was a, um, she was um, ready just to make an investment in her health, yeah. um, and so she really wanted to just master and learn more about the nutrition piece. 
So we worked together for three months, one-on-one, -on -one, and she was really able to see some amazing results. She lost weight. She reported that she oh, lost weight. Wow. She started to sleep better. Her skin improved. And she also started to recover better after her workouts. That so, makes a lot of sense. It yeah. really does. I used to be a runner mm -hmm. back in the day before three kids. <laughs> and I would do marathons. So people thought I was as healthy as mm -hmm. could be. Mm -hmm. And I was at my lowest weight and I just felt great. But I was downing four pizzas in one yeah. sitting because you run so much you can eat and eat and eat. But yeah. really those processed foods take a toll on your body even yeah. if you can handle the calories yes the processed foods will tear you apart yeah in the long run you know in the yeah. long run you Speaking know running. yeah you are what you eat so in <laughs> yes. the long run they will take a toll on your body so you want to fuel your body with the best nutrition with the best foods so Agreed. that you know you're always vibrant alive yes. and, and you look it <laughs> thank so you. You i know. trust you <laughs> whatever you say I believe it. so you know getting rid of counting calories and all that but eating nutrient dense foods that are um, good for our bodies and our cells and you know everything else. I love it. <laughs> and you also do uh, not catering, but yeah. um, um, personal chef. Personal I'm a personal chef. chef so as yeah, well. I work with clients um, on an individual basis. Some people want to do like customized cleanses, or um, sometimes people want desserts and stuff like this for you know yes. personal parties. I love yeah. that too because I host parties as well, and mm -hmm. my raw food cooking isn't that amazing. Mm -hmm. So you would know <laughs> yes. what to make for everyone, maybe yes. someone that's never had raw food before, yes. isn't on board with the whole plant-based diet. Definitely. So I love that yeah. you could impress them all <laughs> at any party that you may be having. Yes. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Yeah. I really appreciate you being with us. And if you want to look her up, you can find her at www.stephanietehall.com. Mm -hmm. And if you want to learn any more about our show and see past episodes, hear what we have coming up next, you can go to www.healthyfoodhappyyou.com. We have some information on reversing type 2 diabetes and even cancer. <laughs> Look us up on Facebook, too, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Thank you. I'm excited. Thank you. <laughs> Love this. It's good. You the like whole them? show, I'm like, okay, <laughs> I really want to get to that cheesecake. <laughs>